Hi students, welcome to the YouTube channel, Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 3, Database Management System, Part 5. Content of the session is RDBMS Jargons. First, we will recap what is RDBMS, Relational Database, a database which is formed based on the data model relational is said to be relational database. You have learned four types of data model. I hope you will remember hierarchical, network, relational, object oriented. Among the four, if a database is formed on the basis of relational data model, then the database is said to be relational database. The management system which manages the relational database is said to be relational database management system shortly RDBMS. Features of RDBMS. First one, high availability. That means it can be used in any platform like Windows, Mac, many other OS also supports RDBMS. High performance. If there is any transaction in the database, and the performance is high and pakka, robust transaction and support. That means if there is any failure in the system or in the power during the transaction, it will be handled in an efficient manner. Management of records are easy and the cost of affording is very less. These are the features of RDBMS and this is the reason why RDBMS is in most wanted and also the powerful backend of many web applications. Now come to the topic jargons. You are going to learn the topic each one table, column, row, primary key, super key, foreign key, composite or compound key. Let's see one by one. See the table given here. It's a student detail table. In this table there are five columns student ID, student name, student age, class and section. How many rows? Four rows. 2011, 12, 13, 14. A single row is a related meaningful information. Each row is said to be a record of tubule. A column is said to be a attribute. A collection of a column and the row together forms a table or the relation. This is the first three jargons of RTBLs. Let's come to primary key. Primary key, super key or any other key. These keys are used to form the relation between the tables in the relational data model. So we must know the concept clearly. What is primary key? Consider this example table. How many attributes are here? I hope you will guess correctly. Five attributes. ID, name, age, class, section. So among the five attributes, in the attribute of student name, the name can be repeated again. In age also, the age value can be repeated. Class also, the class name is repeated. In section also, the value is repeated. But in the attribute of student ID, given ID number will not be repeated again because a student will have only one student ID. It's a unique identification of a particular record. For example, if I want to search a, a student with the name of Alex, I cannot search based on the name because the database may, may have many number of Alex. I cannot search based on the value of 14 because there will be many 14 aged students. So the only preference is I can search a record using the student ID. Then it, I can easily fetch the correct record. So the use of primary key is to fetch a record easily and also for maintenance also it's useful. So uh, attribute without duplicate values can be set as a primary key or sometimes the value must be a unique identification of the record. This is the important point. Next super key, an attribute or group of attributes that is a single column or group of columns which is sufficient to distinguish each tubule, that is each record 
in a relation from each other one is known as super key same concept like the primary key super key concept also there must be an attribute or group of attributes the value in the attribute is the unique identification of a particular record that is said to be super key next e super key is a candidate key a candidate key is selected from a set of super key i hope both are same while selecting candidate key redundant attributes should not be taken the candidate key is also known as minimal super key these are the things given in your book i'll explain this with an example consider this employee table employee id employee name employee license employee passport number and the department id among the three among the five attributes that mean five columns employee id employee name employee license employee passport number department id name can have duplicate values that mean repeated value department also can possible to have repeated values but the employee id license passport number cannot be repeated because yeah employee can have only one particular id one license number one passport number am i right children so among the five attributes this employee id employee license employee passport number are considered to be candidate key because of the unique identification of a particular record among the candidate key only we can select any one as a primary key while selecting one as a primary key other keys are said to be alternate key the alternate key candidate key primary key together comes under super key is it clear i'll explain or a table irukku appadina and the table la nariya attributes irukku adhaadu column ipa particular attribute la irukka data unique ah or record identify panna mudiyum appadina and the attribute candidate key attribute nu solru and the candidate key ஒரு டேபிள்ல எத்தனை காலம்க்கு வேணாலும் இருக்கலாம் அதாவது எந்தெந்த காலம் எல்லாம் யூனிக்கா ஒரு ரெக்கார்டை ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ண ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுதோ எல்லா காலமுமே கேண்டிடேட் கீ தான் அந்த கேண்டிடேட் கீல இருந்து ஒரு கீய பிரைமரி கீயா நான் செட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஆனா ஒரு கீ தான் ஒரு டேபிளுக்கு செட் பண்ணுவோம் இட் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் அப்பான் த டெவலப்மெண்ட் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஒரு நாலு கேண்டிடேட் கீ இருக்குன்னா அதுல ஒன்னு பிரைமரி கீயா செட் பண்ணிட்டோம்னா பேலன்ஸ் இருக்க கேண்டிடேட் கீயை தான் அல்டர்னேட் கீனு சொல்றோம் இந்த அல்டர்னேட் கீ கேண்டிடேட் கீ பிரைமரி கீ எல்லாமே சூப்பர் கீக்கு கீழே தான் ஐ மீன் எல்லாமே சூப்பர் கீஸ் ஐ ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபாரின் கீ அ ஃபாரின் கீஸ் ஆர் த காலம்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ டேபிள் தட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் டு த பிரைமரி கீ ஆஃப் அனதர் டேபிள் They act as the cross reference between tables. Foreign key values do not have to be unique. Foreign keys can also be null. Uh, composite foreign keys cannot have some attributes null and others not null. I'll explain with an example. See the student detail and student mark. In the student detail table, how many attributes? Student ID, student name, student class. In the student mark table, student ID, student total, student rank. In the student detail table, student ID is considered as primary key because it uniquely identifies the record. In the student mark table, among the three, student ID refers to the column in student detail. ஸ்டூடெண்ட் டீட்டெயில்ங்கிற டேபிளில் மூணு காலம் இருக்கு ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஐடி ஸ்டூடெண்ட் நேம் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் கிளாஸ்னு இருக்கு ஸ்டூடெண்ட் மார்க்லேயும் மூணு காலம் இருக்கு ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஐடி ஸ்டூடெண்ட் டோட்டல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்டோட ரேங்க் இப்போ இந்த செகண்ட் டேபிள் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் மார்க்ஸில் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஐடிங்கிற காலம் வந்து ஸ்டூடெண்ட் டீட்டெயில் இருக்க ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஐடியோட லிங்க்ல இருக்கு இது ஒரு பிரைமரி கீ அதுக்கப்புறம் திஸ் இஸ் லிங்க்ட் வித் அனதர் டேபிள் திஸ் இஸ் செட் டு பி ஃபாரின் கீ ஃபாரின் கீ ஒரு டேபிளில் செட் பண்ணியிருக்கோம்னா கண்டிப்பாக அந்த ஃபாரின் கீ இன்னொரு டேபிளில் இருக்க பிரைமரி கீயை லிங்க்கில் வச்சுருக்கோம் அங்கே இருக்க கண்டென்ட்டு தான் இந்த இடத்துல என்ட்ரியாக அலோ பண்ணும் இப்போ ஒன் நாட் ஒன் தௌசண்ட் அண்ட் லெவன் அப்படிங்கிறது இங்கே இருக்கு ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஏபிள் டு என்டர் ஹியர் ஸோ ஹேவிங் எ ரெஃபரன்ஸ் வித் த ப்ரைமரி கீ ஆஃப் அனதர் டேபிள் இஸ் செட் டு பி ஃபாரின் கீ 
Next, a key with more than one attribute to identify rows uniquely in a table is called a composite key. That is, one table na more than one column na na use panni one row a one record a unique identify panni ko mubiyo abdi na. That is called composite key. Candidate key, primary key, all are same na one composite key form hoy. I hope you understand this. Here is a for in key example in the another table department ID, employee ID. Here this employee ID is linked with the employee ID of the first table. Employee ID is already a primary key. So this uh, table's attribute is said to be foreign key. I'll have a recap. Super key is a group of single or multiple keys which identifies rows in a table. From the from that candidate key can be defined as a set of one or more columns that can identify a record uniquely in a table, which can be selected as a primary key of the table. Next, a primary key is a column or a group of columns that uniquely identifies each row in a table. Uh, it it not allows the null values. Then alternate key. Alternate key can be defined as the key that can be work as a primary key if required, but right now it is not a primary key. That means among the candidate key, we are selecting the primary key. Balance keys are alternate key. Foreign key. Foreign key creates a relationship between two or more tables. A primary key of one table is referred as the foreign key in the another table. Composite key. Composite key is the combination of more than one column of a table. It can be a candidate key and primary key. I hope you have understood this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this channel, subscribe this to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.